Hey YouTube, how's it going? Zeb2121 here, and I'm going to be doing a review on my new John Deere 110. I'm pretty sure it's a 1972, but yeah, saw it on the side of the road and thought it'd be a cool thing to rest, restore. We already got a, I already got a new spark plug. I'm going to be getting a new um, battery soon because the other one wasn't good. It was broke. It was blunt and out and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to be restoring this whole thing. It's a four-speed variable speed. Has a road till on the back that I want to take off. I will soon. The seat's not bad, kind of dirty and stuff. The frame, like, made out of steel type stuff. All rusty though, not too bad. But, we're down here on the panel, we have our shifter. First gear over here, you lift this up. So that's for like road tilling and stuff. And then we have second, third, fourth, and then reverse. That, I'm not sure. Here's our depth stop for a mower deck. As you can see, I don't have one for this. I won't be doing any mowing for, that's what that one's for, mowing and stuff. This will just be just a ride around haul stuff. But right here, this is our PTO clutch. If you move it this way and up over here and then up, it'll engage the PTO. And then our parking brake, my parking brake right here, is you pull it out, pull it out, lift it down, and it'll engage your parking brake. And then the key, yeah, pretty rusted and stuff. But this is a old tractor. Here's the the serial number and the type. I'm going to be ordering a manual for this so I can know where everything is and help. I'm pretty sure it runs. I haven't tested it because the other battery was dead and stuff. And, but we put new, put fresh gas, uh, put some more oil in even though we're going to have to drain the old out. And it is a Kohler engine. I heard Kohler engines are pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 10 horse. Here's the clutch slash brake. You push the clutch into um, put it to whatever gear you want. Um, back here, um, this is where the road tiller attaches. It attaches right there on both sides. And there's the hitch right there. Yeah, this road tiller, it, it's seen better days. I think mostly it's just dirty, but I don't plan on doing any road tilling with this. As you can see under here, that's for the rototiller. It just connects there. And the belt goes back there. It's not, <clears throat> sorry, it's not that hard to take off. But right here is your throttle. You know, you would like push, pull this up, and it would move this. But it's pretty, it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Can't wait to get this thing running. It'll be pretty cool. Here's the oil. What's the oil at? I don't know. Oh, okay. Here's the gas tank. It's full of fish. It has enough gas. But yeah. Yeah, this is your throttle. You choke. Uh, you know, some, type, some kind of gauge down here is... It just tells you, like, caution and how to start it, operating, how to stop. 
the variations, the parking, which is this, the PTO clutch, which is this, and the pedal, which is that. Pretty simple. I haven't driven it because, like I said, I haven't started it. The other battery, which is up in that shed, it's up there and probably going to get a new one. And I gotta tighten these. But I'll keep you guys updated on this. So subscribe and stay tuned. Talk to you guys later.